How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. Today, we're messing with strawberries. Yes, I know I'm horrible. I'm using frozen strawberries. That's what I've got available at the moment. Uh, we're making strawberry liqueur, or if uh, you want to go by the naming convention on the home distilling forums, strawberry panty dropper. We'll get into that soon. Welcome to Stella everyone, I'm Jesse and this is the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. So if that's what you're into guys, hit the subscribe button down below, don't miss anything. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, we're, we're making a strawberry infusion, we're going to make something quite delicious today. Uh, like I said, um, strawberry liqueur, if you want to be pish posh about it, or if you were a crude, rude, horrible person, you may want to call it strawberry panty dropper. Uh, obviously absolutely named because it's going to slide down very easy. The drink I'm talking about is very easy to drink and it uh, still kicks like a mule, basically. Personally, I think actually the idea of guys and girls drinks is kind of ridiculous because my wife's favorite drink is Laphroaig, as you guys I'm sure know by now. And my dad, my old man, who is still a whole lot tougher than I ever have been. <laughs> Tough old bugger. And about as far down the whiskey road he goes is uh, Southern Comfort or Drambuie because anything after that isn't sweet enough for him. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, there's a bunch of these recipes kicking around, some slight subtle variations on these things uh, on forums all over the place. But the idea is basically um, fruit, normally some sort of berry, Peaches and things like that as well are used often enough. Uh, relatively high ABV spirit and a fairly large amount of sugar. Now we're going to change things a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit different than you know a lot of other recipes around. That that's fine. Subtly, um, some of them use brandy, some of them use vodka, some of them use um, you know American moonshine corn, white corn whiskey essentially. Uh, this is what we've got here is white corn corn whiskey. This is the stuff I just made on the Genio still, and it's actually basically a polenta. Whiskey, essentially a, a bourbon, a bourbon style mash or grist, but with the um, the cracked corn subbed out for polenta because that's what I could get my hands on. And uh, the reason I want to do it with strawberries is, interestingly enough, hmm. So the polenta is a little more savoury than corn normally is, uh, a little bit more grainy, almost flowery in some ways, but it also has quite a heavy oiliness to it. Not oily, horrible, oily, buttery almost. And it reminded me of pie crust, in uh, some strange way. So I thought, hmm, why not let's mess with this and uh, see if we can't make something kind of like a kind of like a strawberry tart or a strawberry pie, I guess you'd call it. Let's give it a whirl, right? Let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, team, it's a pretty simple process. Like I said, all you need is the, um, the high ABV liquor, whatever you decide you want to use, what you think might pair well with the, the fruit or berry you're going to use, um, the berries themselves, and then some sugar as well. Uh, so if you want to switch it up and do something different, by all means do. If you want to try and follow along and do something just like this, that's cool too. I'm using a 2 to 1 ratio of spirits to strawberries, specifically 2 litres of my Polenta whiskey at 65% to 1 kilogram of strawberries. So this part is uh, is done and dusted, super easy. All we're going to do is um, keep this around for about a week it will take a few days, give it a little shake every now and again, agitate it up, maybe give it a stir. And essentially we're just looking for the berries to lose their colour and for everything to be extracted out into that high ABV liquid. So we've given the berries a week and uh, as you can see the, you know, the colour's pretty much gone out of them um, and the, the colour of the alcohol is absolutely amazing. So what we need to do now is strain this. Now we actually not going to get rid of the berries yet, we're going to get a little bit more out of these guys, uh, but we do want to separate them at this point in time. I've just realized that I'm terrified of tipping that, so uh, let me get a spoon first and we'll spoon some out to make some room and then I can tip. Next we need to separate the berries from the liquid and I'm not going to worry about squeezing them hard out or doing that overly efficiently because we're not getting rid of this stuff yet. Every freaking time I do this I forget that this is a small mouth and I need to get the stuff back out again and I end up doing this stupid dance, uh, you know, inching it back out. But anyway, one of these days I'll learn. <laughs> 
So what we're going to do with these berries now is pop them back into a separate container. I need to make sure to wash this. That's better. And uh, we're actually going to add the juice of half a lemon into this as well. I'm just going to make sure I don't get any seeds in there. This is to help preserve the colour. And honestly guys, look at that. How awesome is that? We want to, we want to preserve that colour for sure. All right, I'm going to pop this, I'm going to pop this back into the smaller jar simply because I don't need to take up that much room. So that can, uh, that can go aside for now and we need to work on these berries. What we're actually going to do is add a, well, a shit ton of sugar in there. Best way to describe it. Yeah, shit ton. You would think I would have the right tools for this out here by now, wouldn't you? But no. <laughs> As you can tell guys, I'm not being overly exact with this. I just wanted to, to cover them fairly well in sugar and the idea is that we are going to let this sit. We're going to give it a shake every now and again, I don't know, two or three days and uh, essentially that sugar is going to dry out all the moisture in the, the berries, extract some more, a little bit more colour but mostly flavour for us. But uh, in doing so, it's going to create the perfect, th perfect thing to back sweeten this over here. And uh, obviously, because this is called, you know, panty dropper in the forums, it's going to be sweet and easy to drink, right? It's going to be really sweet. Use it for over ice cream, for salad dressings, for marinades, whatever the same who you want. Let's come back in a few days and see what this is looking like. Some of you would have noticed that this is a extra video, a bonus video, and that is thank you to our sponsor today, Surfshark VPN. Uh, essentially the first thing that it does is give you a little bit more anonymity or security. People or organizations are much less likely to be able to figure out who it is that's doing what and what you are doing if you're using a good VPN. And I'm sure some of you can see the benefits in, uh, for example, people not knowing that you're into home distilling while on the internet, or other things that I don't want to know about. Which of course ties into the next thing too, price discrimination. We get screwed on this down here in New Zealand. Often the same service will just magically cost, you know, another 30, 40% because we happen to be in New Zealand. So that's all great, but I'm guessing you're probably wondering why I'm recommending Surfshark specifically. First of all, one account gives me access across a bunch of different devices. So I can be using my phone, my computer, uh, my media streaming computer, all of them can be on the VPN at the same time under one account. And lastly is the pricing. For what it gives you, it is a super reasonable offer. And if you guys use the code CTC for Chase the Craft, get it, uh, you will get 83% off plus a month free when you sign up. So we've given this four days. For the most part, the sugar is dissolved. It's turned into a syrup. There is still some uh, sugar around. Ooh, that smells good. Uh, but what I need to do right now is I'm just going to tip the syrup out. I'm actually going to add a little bit more sugar back into the berries as well. I don't know, to be honest, if we're going to get too much more moisture coming out of them. But, I mean, why not, right? We'll give it a go. I may not need that syrup for the actual beverage, but if we can get some more out of it, uh, like I said earlier, we can use it on ice cream or, you know, for all sorts of other different things too. It would be a waste to waste it. All right, so we can put that aside for another couple of days now in case we need it or not. So the plan now, guys, is for me to basically to start playing with ratios between the, the spirit itself, the syrup, proofing it down with, you know, water and whether or not I want to add anything else into this to sort of get a flavor profile that, that I enjoy, that I like. My tools of choice to get that job done are a 10 mil syringe, a one mil syringe, whoops, and a Glen Ken. Now, honestly, this glass is probably not ideal for this, but it's what I've got. Uh, so I've got the spirit, I've got the water, got my tools, and I've got the syrup, and uh, a couple of other things here that I may end up using. We'll talk about those when we get to them. So now, any place is as good as any other, I think. So I'm gonna start roughly with the sort of ratios that I'm probably gonna have available to me to make a full batch of this if I want. So that is going to be three parts of the spirit, two parts of water, and one part of the syrup. I'm probably aiming for somewhere around 25, 30%. I'm guessing is where I'm gonna to wanna to land with that. So um, obviously with all this sugar going in here, it's pretty, it's, it's, I'm not gonna be able to measure it. So it's gonna be a bit of a guesstimate. 
Six mils of spirit. And uh, once again, the volumes don't matter. It's the ratios between that I'm playing with at the moment. Two mils of water. Actually, let's have a taste of it at, like, at that. Oh yeah, interesting. It's actually slightly bitter. Um, so we're gonna have to see what we do about that. And one part, syrup. I don't know where the bitterness came from. Maybe I, maybe I accidentally got something in there from the lemon I shouldn't have. I'm, I'm not sure to be honest. Okay, so the smell's really pleasant when you hit that, hit it with the sugar. The 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 strawberry jumps out. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. I think it could be a little thicker, a little chewier. It doesn't have that sort of liqueurness to it, which, to be fair, it may not need actually. Hmm. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I was expecting a little bit more, <clears throat> a little bit more strawberry out of this than what I'm actually getting. And I do wonder if that's because the, the strawberries I used, those frozen strawberries, weren't the best. Let's be honest, they're probably not. So if you have good fresh strawberries available to you, rock that for sure. I know I'll probably be repeating this again when strawberry season hits. All right, I'm gonna go with 0.05 of a mil of the vanilla essence just to see so literally a drop in here I, I get the feeling that might round it out and kind of almost give it a um a creamy sort of feeling to it oh yeah yeah okay that's brought the strawberries out heaps whoa crazy yes but now it needs more sugar that's pretty good i like that anyway so what that says to me right now guys is that i've actually probably not got quite enough syrup as I will potentially need. And I'm in the rough ballpark now, but that may not scale totally well. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw all of this in there. I know that if anything, I need more sugar, not less. So all of this is going in. Super scientific as you can see. <laughs> Jeez. And I'm adding three mils of vanilla essence in there as well. I don't want it to taste like vanilla. I'm just using it as something to sort of lift the berry flavor and, and bring it out a little bit more. Let's have a nudge on this. Yeah, okay, so the berry's popping more. Sugar and vanilla, that's, that's what I'm attributing that to. It's popping, it's popping much more than the, uh, the original spirit was. Yeah, definitely needs some more sugar. Needs almost that much again. All right, team, it has been another four days and I'll tell you what, I'm surprised, very surprised. But I've actually got a fair bit more syrup out of this. So, uh, you know what? Based on the ratios I did before, I'm thinking I can pretty much just put all of this in there. And uh, I'm not, I was going to say I'm not that worried about too many chunks getting in here, but then I went and dropped two whole strawberries in there. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to put it into here now. Now, I'm obviously going to strain this properly you know, before, not serving, but bottling, I guess you would call it. Yes, perfect. So that has given it just enough sweetness to get rid of that slight, let me have another go. Yeah, okay, so it's given it just enough sweetness to take that slight sort of bitter thing away that I was getting before. Um, I'm, honestly, I'm still not sure entirely where that came from. Uh, if any of you guys have got some ideas on that, let me know. This stuff is sticky, man. I've got some serious cleaning to do after this. <laughs> but I have to say, team, I'm pretty impressed with that. Slice of ginger, maybe? A fresh strawberry, perhaps? A little bit of ice, maybe a splash of some gin or something like that. I think that would be really delicious. And honestly, it's pretty good as is as well. I've just realized too that I was about to comment on the really cool uh, color of the spirit and looking at the camera, I don't know if you can really see it to be perfectly honest with you. That might help a little. But it's actually, you know, looking at it this way with the lights coming through it, it's a really cool, really bright pink and I'm really hoping that that little bit of lemon juice is gonna preserve that color because that's quite special. In any case guys, I've had an absolute blast with this one. If you've been making something similar, I would love to hear from you. Hit me in the comments down below. So this was a blast team. I, uh, I dig the idea of more videos a week and I, I hope that, uh, I hope we can find ways to justify that in the future because it's, it's pretty cool doing more of what I love and uh, 
less of everything else, to be honest. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time, team. Uh, keep on chasing the craft. See ya.